AITA for being annoyed when my nephew always orders the most expensive food on the menu? Whenever we go out to a family dinner I always insist on paying. Especially when it's with my father, mother-in-law. My sister-in-law's son. 11. Always sees this as a chance to order the most expensive menu options. Today at lunch we all ordered entrees while he got the fanciest appetizer. Starter and a whole lobster to himself. When his lobster came he took a bite and said, I don't want it anymore. I'm full. I suggested he take it home but he responded with, I don't eat leftovers. I tried to hide my annoyance but this continually happens every time we get together. I'm getting real sick of it especially when my own meal costs $20 and his ends up being $120 plus each. Time. Hell always get the most expensive filet mignon steak or seafood and never finish. Am I the asshole for telling my wife to talk to her nephew to limit his ordering when we go out to dinner? I feel like they will call me an asshole for dictating what they order and that my insistence on paying shouldn't have any strings attached. Edit. I'm Asian and so are everyone on my wife's side of the family. In my culture I must insist on paying especially when my father, mother-in-law are attending or else I lose face. My insistence to pay and hospitality reflect on how my parents have raised me. NTA. You mentioned you're Asian. So am I. My parents would have stopped me from pulling something like that and made sure I ordered something sensible. They need their Asian cards revoked. NTA. As usual comments here have no cultural sensitivity. Op has stated in a comment that they are Asian. And paying for those meals might be a lot more of an obligation than people on here think. The nephew's parents should know better and curb that spending ASAP. It's just plain rude. I don't get all the ESH and YTA on here. His parents are the ones who suck and should be teaching their child that you don't waste food or order things vastly more expensive than everyone else when someone is paying. Hopefully your wife can gently remind them of this. Otherwise I'd recommend just paying for your immediate family and they can pay for their son. I'm sure he'll stop ordering $100 plus of food super quickly. ETA. NTA. NTA. I'd tell your sill that what he's doing is unacceptable and if he tries it again. She's paying for it. I'm not Asian. But I was raised that if someone else is paying. You don't order something more than their option costs. Because that's just rude and taking advantage of them. NTA. I would be furious if my daughter ordered something that expensive when someone else was paying and then didn't eat it. I think if I were you I would just not offer to pay next time. Let his parents pay for lobster he won't eat. I think it's rude that your in-laws just keep allowing you to pay without offering themselves. NTA. My dad stopped telling us in advance when he had decided to pay because my bill does that too. So he waits until the end of the meal and then says because that way you've ordered what you personally are willing to pay for. NTA. Try this next time. Nephew. I'll have the lobster. Op. Last time you ordered lobster you only ate one bite and wouldn't take the rest home. Nephew. I'll have the lobster. Op. If you don't finish it. Your mom's paying for it. Nephew. I'll have the lobster. Mom. To server. He'll have the hamburger with fries. NTA. I come from a similar culture to yours. Other than being taught by my own parents not to be so selfish in such situations. There's also common sense about being considerate about the person who's paying and not to order, ask for anything over the top unless you're paying for it with your own money. Ever since I reached the age of understanding financial responsibility. 
I know how much things cost and budgeting properly. Your nephew seems to think that you just have a lot of disposable income and sounds incredibly spoilt. You should talk to you Sil directly and inform her that either he finish his meal or he doesn't ask for such expensive things if he'll waste them. It's also risky to say, then at least take them home as leftovers, because he might make excuses. Like, but I didn't like it, it made me nauseous, or he might just go home and throw the food in the trash anyway so best not to recommend taking it home. NTA. Your nephew is a kid. But his parents should really put an end to this behavior. It's normal for kids to try and pull this kind of stuff and emo. First time it's not a big deal. Haha <laughs> very funny kid. You know? But second time. And every subsequent time. Is a problem. When kids get to get away with this kind of behavior their entire childhood. They turn into adults who behave the same way. Which does make them assholes. NTA. You would be ta if we were just answering your title question. However. By your description. It's not simply that he orders the most expensive thing. It's that he orders multiple expensive items. Then doesn't eat even close to all of what he ordered. And refuses to enjoy it later. And that it's a pattern behavior. Not an isolated mistake. That makes him ta. You're not exactly a victim here. Though. Since you allow this to continue. NTA. You are not ta for paying. It is simply your culture and the manner you were raised. And you won't be the ah uh, for telling your wife to talk to her sister. Jerk boy and get two options on the menu from here on out and pick one. Of course. People in this comment section always skip out on details. You're Asian. You mentioned? Of course you're gonna offer to pay for food. There's nothing wrong with that. The kid needs to understand that they can't go ordering the most expensive meal every time and then not eat it. Seriously. This isn't OP's fault. Guys. NTA. NTA. His parents are the assholes for allowing this. Next time let everyone order and then tell the waitress the check is being split by family. When his mother's pockets get hit one good time. Bet he doesn't do it again. NTA next time I say if you don't eat it for paying for it and even tell the waiting staff the make a bill up just for him. NTA. My cousin does this. She'll order two mains and eat a couple of bites of each before saying she's full. So we just don't invite her anymore unless we have to. When we do have to. We either go to places with a set menu. Or we bill her mom for any uneaten food. NTA. Am I the asshole for telling my wife to talk to her nephew to limit his ordering when we go out to dinner? I don't think it's your wife's place to talk to the nephew directly. It's not her responsibility to discipline someone else's child. She should be speaking to her sister about it. Pointing out how the son does this frequently. How it's bizarre that sister has not talked to the son about it herself. And how she needs to get this to stop. You know. Be an actual parent. Can you take them to a buffet next time? And. I'd add that I chose that restaurant because nephew hasn't learned to order from a menu in a. Mannerly way. NTA. Honestly I think it makes sense for your wife to reach out like, we love sharing a meal and we are happy to cover it. But we've been surprised that nephew seems to order food he won't eat. Next time we go out to enjoy a meal. Can you mention the usual etiquette to him? I'm sure you have but everyone needs a reminder sometimes and we know he never intends to be rude. Thanks. It's the first mention of it so keep it light and if they aren't total Oz all should be well. If he continues? Nephew. After last time let's keep it to the entree okay? Great. NTA. 
next time he tries to order something just tell the waiter he was kidding and order him some chicken tenders or something from the kids menu nta the kids parents are the real oz here if i had pulled something like that when i was 11 or younger as it seems nephew has been doing this for a while now my mother would have shut it down so fast and i probably would have gotten yelled at after the fact for trying it in the first place also from a consumption perspective not eating the entree and also not taking it home for leftovers is terrible i'm not a vegetarian but i try to be very conscientious about consuming not wasting animal products on this basis i do think it's fair for a host to say they are not on board with guests being wasteful in that sense especially when it happens repeatedly if you enjoyed this video please check out our playlists full of similar content epic era cast is like doom scrolling for your ears please like share and subscribe